Okay. So, this video is on how playing video games helps you in school. Because it exists. It does exist. I, I, I swear. Uh, I mean it. Anyway, so, first off, you cannot sit in your room and play video games offline all the time until your eyes burn out. Because then you have to get glasses. See? Glasses. Anyway, so. Except for Final Fantasy. Anyway, so, video games help you focus because if you can't focus on a game like Call of Duty where you have to literally see those big tiny people moving across the entire map before they snipe you in the face and make you go, Aah! Anyway, so. You die. And then focus helps you focus in school because focus is focus and focus is focus universally. It doesn't matter if you focus here, there, everywhere, Sam I Am Land, Dr. Seussville, Cat in the Hat, a Utopia. Anyway, so so if you don't learn that quickly, you're pretty much screwed. Um, MOBAs, you have to learn how to work with a team and, and, and leadership stuff because one guy usually leads the charge into the base and you know kind of picks when to go and then teamwork you know if you play the game and you just go off on your own you, you'll die really quick from other people who kill you with two people because two versus one will not win unless you're playing with like a really heavily HP character but um so both of those are important because the focus helps you with folks, and I can't say it another time. If I do, you'll die. And then the teamwork and stuff helps you do group work, and the other, and it also helps with re like reflexes and reaction speed. Because the other day, not today, the other day. So the other day, I was walking down the hallway, and someone caught her. I had it fell from someone's hand. And when they caught it, it's like, thank you, video games. Because apparently that helped them with reaction speed, which it does. Because if you react slowly in any video game, nearly platformers included, which are, in my opinion, some of the easiest. Well, some platformers, but not all platformers. But if you react slowly, the Goomba's going to eat you or kill you. Or however Goombas kill Mario, I don't know. Did they, like, just touch him and kill him, or? Eh. Go figure. So, and then, and then, uh, I, I trust the person not to lie to me about it because they're nice like that. And, uh, video games also help memory because if you can remember all 719 Pokemon, hopefully you can remember the easy facts like Christopher Columbus of the Ocean Blue of 1492. Bacon's Rebellion was not about bacon at all. There were no pigs in fault. Well, there may have been pigs in fault, but there was no bacon. No bacon. It's a lie. The bacon is a lie. And, uh, what else was there? There's another one I was gonna. Oh, uh, there was that ship. Well, never mind. Anyway, that that that's fun, but no. And then uh, video games also help your critical thinking because games like Portal and The Legend of Zelda, they they help you. They they have really complex puzzles that challenge your brain and make you want to throw things. Yeah. And so, so that's how video games help with school. There's another thing I want to say, but I can't say it, because if I say it, it's going to sound even dumber than the rest of this. And that loads the dumb meter up too high. You can't see it, but there's one, like, right here beside the computer. Anyway, bye. Ha, ha. I got over four minutes. I